Well, it's our Friday briefing, and uh, we've got Chief Minister, but we've also got the uh, Finance Minister, the last one of the year. And you've produced two uh, press releases. One, actually, talking about Pinewood. I thought you would be wanting to put this one completely to one side, but you're having another little announcement. Well, basically, um, what we've found out so far is that the Pinewood deal is working well. It's bringing extra filming activity to the island. And it's a good illustration that the sum of the parts are worth more than the individuals because Pinewood is able to bring extra support for a film but by way of cash or indeed production facilities in Pinewood Shepparton. And we, we are seeing that we're getting much better quality films brought to us now. So what concerns me is that this is a long-term investment but it's been questioned on a very short-term basis and we cannot actually work through it when we're always being constantly criticised, as I say, on a short-term basis. We need to have a look at the long-term. Um, the long-term benefits are certainly there, and I'm very comfortable with it. I mean, other investments you make obviously don't get the same scrutiny in the sense of people want to know the ins and outs of it. But, I mean, this one was always going to be a little bit different. And are you really that surprised you have been sort of questioned so much about it? Well, I was surprised that despite an overwhelming vote in Tinwald, uh, they continue to come back and come back. And the difficulty I have really is they know who my advisors are because I've been open trans and transparent with it. But when I ask the question, well, who are your advisors? Um, they suddenly clam up. And I'm quite happy to talk to those who are advising them uh, to try and clear up any areas of misunderstanding and to understand which way they're coming at it. But at the moment, I'm not talking to the person who's got the ideas, I'm talking to the post box. But you know who these people are, I'm, I'm guessing, the way you, you, you're always referring to these other people. I mean, you've got a good idea who's briefing? I have a shrewd idea, but um, nevertheless, it wouldn't be right of me to, to mention any names in case I'm wrong. With hindsight, would you do this again? Would you, or just it'd be easier to go and put, buy some premium bonds or something with the money instead next time around? You know, I mean, was this worth the effort and, and the ongoing um, high profile criticism that you're getting, especially? It definitely hasn't put me off. If a similar deal came up again, uh, we go through it, we'd review it. Because what I'm not looking at is the effect on me personally. I have to look at the effect on the Isle of Man as a whole. We've got to grow the economy, we've got to be imaginative. We've got to move forward. And uh, if we always took the Garden of Eden view, we haven't done that before, we'd be lost. We need to be imaginative now. OK, well, I mean, the, the, you know, it's the end of the year, and this time next year we'll, we can do another look back and uh, see how it's all progressing. Obviously, there's people who out there would love to see this to fail, I suppose, but, um, you know, you don't go into this, I guess, unless you think you're onto a winner. Well, I never go into something expecting to fail. Uh, I. Do, I do considerable research, we've taken external advice as well, and uh, the, adv the advice we have is that it's appropriate that we should go down this route, and uh, I feel comfortable with it. But it is, it's not going to be a straight-lined trajectory, it's going to be um, peaks and troughs, bumps on the road, but on a long-term basis, and I will stress that, a long-term, I feel that this is a positive and good investment for the Isle of Man. We're not only investing in the, in, the, in the company, we're investing in the Isle of Man's economy as well. But it's healthy to have a debate on these things, is it not? It's healthy to have a debate, but um, all the questions we put down, as far as I'm aware, they, um, they haven't been followed up on, and uh, they haven't exposed anything which would make me feel uncomfortable. In fact, quite the reverse. Well, this won't be going away, so we'll be talking about it more. Um, your other press release, um, you're having a programme of engagement with the island's business community. What's this about? Well, basically, um, I could be accused of preparing a budget um, from my ivory tower, and I want to make sure that the budget which is being prepared is relevant for the, the local economy. So as part of that, uh, I'll be going out to speak uh, in conjunction with my colleague Phil Braidwood, and on occasions um, with a member for economic development, Mr. Alan Crow, and we've had a series of meetings uh, right across the spectrum. And uh, the picture is emerging of an economy of two parts, as it were: the domestic-facing economy, construction, 
hospitality, entertainment, retail is definitely coming under pressure. There's no question about that. But the outward facing part of the economy is still doing well, still expanding. And the economy as a whole is still growing. And I think that's something that we should be very proud of. Of course, we haven't actually chatted since the fuel duty didn't go through. I mean, that was not what, a few million pounds that you have now got to play with? That was two million pounds and uh, we've had to rework our projections, but I'm still comfortable that the projections which were contained in the budget which we delivered in February this year are still relevant and still appropriate and still achievable. And you must have poured over what they were saying in Westminster then with this autumn statement to see if there's anything else in there that is going to affect us. Did you find anything? Uh, there's nothing in there that gives me immediate cause for concern which wasn't already flagged up but there's a thousand pages so there's quite a lot of work to be done and my colleagues are trawling through the detail because the devil's always in the detail. Well, as I said, it's the last one of the year. Are you going to have a good Christmas? Do you relax, feel about the Isle of Man as, you know, the PLC? I don't think we can relax uh, because uh, I feel that we have challenges but I'm comfortable and confident that we'll be able to get through them. And certainly the steps that the government has taken over the last 12 months have, in my opinion, put us in a stronger position to move forward with confidence.